I did a trip down to Antarctica in 2004 as one of the Antarctic Arts Fellows and the snowball which I made initially, which preceded Polo, came out of that. And one of my abiding memories of Scott Base and that area around there is this incredible contrast area between black and white. Polo is based on the Buckminster Fuller buckyball, as he called it. So he found a way to break up the surface of a sphere in, into a bunch of hexagons and pentagons. So that around each pentagon, you've got five hexagons. Then you've got another pentagon over here with five hexagons around that. And these groups fit together. And then there's a single symmetrical hexagon in the middle of those three groups. And that carries on around the surface. Polo's made from um, bamboo plywood, like all our other kit set lights. There are instructions that come with the light. We also have a video up on our website, and that's really useful to actually see somebody doing it. There's an obviously a snowflake in there, and, and each of those hexagons is, is very much based on a snowflake pattern. Also what I like about Polar in comparison to Coral is that you lose the individual pieces much more. It becomes this almost like a, just a pattern surface over the whole sphere, uh, and, and, you, and you've lost the structure of all those pieces going together, and I think that works really well. Like all our lights, a key aspect of it is, is the effect, the shadow effect on the wall. I like to say, who needs wallpaper? When you can create this beautiful effect uh, on your wall. I think the critical thing about all these lights that we do, the larger ones, is that although the overall dimensions of the light are quite big, some of them, they actually don't take up a lot of physical space because they're so open, so delicate in their structure.